Well, for many, us included, today uh, was the start of another work week, but for one local man, this was just another day at the beach. That's because he's living an artist's life, a life that he's willing to sell to you. And he tells CBS 2's Dave Malkoff it's the worst job you'll ever love. Another morning comes in with the salt water. Another art project for John. J O H N. John Robertson, an artist. Or at least that's what he is today. 18 years ago, John wore a suit to an office. That was until life and his corporate bosses tossed him a curveball. They fired me. They said that um, I wasn't a team player. Funny thing is, they were right. So I do all kinds of stuff. I do landscapes, sort of like a Van Gogh landscape. John Robertson. Mama, I can't pay you back. Is not a team player. Shells from the beach and toys and just odd things. John does whatever John wants to do. So, you know, you'd be grinding the cars that would then go into the bird's nest. I just found them at a garage sale and I just found them interesting and I painted them black and put the words on it and I don't know particularly why. The sign out front accurately describes John's trailer home. It has an ocean view, but not much more. Of, most people have their lives sort of planned out and scheduled. I don't. The suit and tie world sent him packing, so he picked up a brush, but the art gallery world rejected him as well. I didn't go to art school, so they go, well, what's your experience? Well, I painted in the window for four years. By painting in frame shop windows, people noticed John, and wouldn't you know it, started buying his art. And so here is just stacks and stacks and stacks of the paintings that I do. How many of these are going to be sold? Oh, um... Well, they all get, will eventually get sold at some point. Barely scraping by on art sales may not be for everyone. I don't make a lot of money. I, you know, but I love my life. But this is the choice he's made in this trailer. The blue changes the color. Seeing life through colored glasses. I just love them. I mean, I, I don't go out in them in public, but I just paint in them. <laughs> but now the seasons are changing. I mean, it's like me. I'm going to be 65 here shortly. How many summers do I have left? I mean... How many summers? John's third act begins today. I want to be closer to my grandchildren and my daughter, one of my daughters, and both of them actually. Two grown daughters so split I'm... between coasts, so with a simple website, John has decided... I want to sell the concept of how to live this kind of life. He's selling his life online. There are no promises about this because it's hard work. I mean, this is not an easy way to, to make a living. The price? Just over a quarter million dollars. So John, if I'm going to buy this life from you, what do I get? Well, you're obviously you're going to get a mobile home with a spectacular view of the yeah, ocean yeah. right across from the beach. You get all his art supplies. Big painting frames. Um, I've got a computer. He's not just selling things here. It's also, honest to goodness, the life he's been living. 40 hours of instructions of how I did it. The buyer will go to a kind of happy school to learn step by step how John went from making bad impressions in the boardroom. How's that looking? To better ones in acrylic. <laughs> That's a painting of what? You can't tell what the... <laughs> That's a painting of you. <laughs> and someone will buy this at some yeah, point? Yeah, someone will buy that at some point. And at have some it point, in their house. They'll have it on their house. They'll have it... You know, they may have it on their floor, but they'll have it in their house. <laughs> on their floor. <laughs> if a buyer comes along, that painting will head into storage so John can spend the rest of his years traveling while someone else is living his life as free and simple as a seabird. In Pacific Palisades, Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. Oh, you know, I think he's going to miss his life if it sells. He might, but yeah. I tell you what, he whipped that painting of Malkoff up pretty very quick. Very talented, very talented. Yeah. Let's see if someone can step into his shoes. You know, Johnny Mountain might be able to do yeah, it. Yeah, what do you think, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do know this. Dave came back into the office after that and after the uh, gentleman had painted it, and he was really impressed. It really touched yeah, him. It's yeah, it's nice. All right, here's something that's touched a lot of our friends down in Texas, my friends, is we've had uh, uh, this tropical storm.